Hey, it's Jennifer. I decided to do another random love, a, a random love vibe. This time I'm going to do it for the week. I'm going to do it for the whole week. So this is going to be through June 24th through June 30th. Okay, this is a random love vibe. Instead of a random daily vibe, it's a it's a random love vibe for the week ahead. This is for all signs. We're going to see what comes up. We're going to get a past, present, and a future. So we're going to see. This will be for somebody. I don't know who. I was just sitting here watching some of my videos, going over them, and it popped into my head to do it. So here we go again. This is for the week ahead, the 24th through the 30th. Keep in mind, this may not resonate with you. This reading is for somebody. Somebody needs to hear this reading. I don't know who. All right. So this is for whoever it resonates with and the timing is fluid. Okay, keep that in mind. Oh. Past. Present. future. Uh-oh, we got two. Woohoo! We got to take them. I was only going to get one. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This is in the future. In the future, you do release and you open your heart. You get ready or you start working on opening your heart to somebody new. That's in the future. Okay. So, in the past, there's been some sort of deception here, and it could have been you. It could have been you. It could have been the person you're dealing with, because someone is wearing a false self mask. Well, I have to tell you, they're both kind of wearing masks. So, it feels as though somebody has been deceitful, okay, and you know it, and it, it could be you, or it could be the other person, but I think in this case, it's probably been both of you. Somebody has been in denial here. We're going to get clarifiers. Presently, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. Allow your friends to help you, even if you just need to vent, okay? Allow your friends to help you. In the future, it appears that you're going to release this deception, deception this mask that you're wearing, okay? You're going to release it, or you're going to release this ex that has been deceptive, whichever the case is. It can probably go both ways. And you start to realize that it is safe for you to love. It's safe for you to love. You don't need to protect yourself forever. It's safe to open your heart again. I'm going to make sure this is zoomed in and we are going to get some clarifiers here. Okay. So I am going to use... I think I'm going to use this deck right here. As far as the past, what is this deception? What is this deception? What is this deception that's been going on? That's held somebody back. It's held somebody back from releasing. It's held somebody back from feeling safe. There's been some sort of betrayal here. Ooh, look at that. That, that guy wants to come out, hey? Yeah, there's somebody has had to defend themselves. Somebody has been, had to really put their guard up. And you know, this is a protection tactic. It is. This self-deception, this can be self-deception. This mask is a protection tactic that allows you, if you continue to deceive yourself, you know, then you can, you can pretend that it's not safe to love. That's self-deceit. It's a protective tactic. Somebody has been protecting themselves by living in a, a spot of denial over a situation. You have the resources. You do. You have the tools inside of you to shed this, to shed your old ways, to stop deceiving yourself. You have the power. You have the power. The power is yours to manifest whatever you want. And it feels as though there has been sort of, some sort of, I think it's self-manipulation, self-deception, where somebody has been wearing a mask of protection, holding on to something that doesn't serve them, 
because the magician is about shedding your old ways, using the tools to bring success into your life, to shed your old ways, to become one, to find your power. So I do feel that as, as though in the past you were deceiving yourself by protecting yourself. You were protecting yourself deceitfully from getting hurt again. You were. Presently, you're being called to let your friends help you take this mask off and accept the truth. <laughs> because somebody's been dishonest with themselves. Somebody has. You could be dealing with somebody um, who's only out to harm you. And you know that. You know that. Or you, you know that this person isn't any good for you, period. You know that. So maybe you need to let your friends, uh, maybe you need to lean on them for support. And you also need to be decisive. It feels like somebody has been unable to make a decision and maybe they've been living in their in their negative thoughts and maybe you just need to maybe you need to vent maybe you need to talk about it maybe you need to let somebody into your life to allow you or to help you stop harming yourself okay because that's what's happening here somebody has been harming themselves by living in denial that's what it looks like to me but they're starting to wake up because that, that this card is an awakening. I'm starting to wake up. I'm, I'm starting to peel back that mask. I'm willing. I'm willing. I'm starting to be willing. There is some sort of something going on behind the scenes here. There is some sort of um, cycle that needs to end because the moon is all about cycles. And it feels like somebody has been trying to escape reality here. Presently, somebody has been escaping reality. And now they probably have to accept this truth. And you may need your friends to help you get through it. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with any sign. I'm just telling you what I see. But it feels as though there's been some sort of... unaccountability I don't want to be held accountable for my actions I don't want to be held accountable I don't this is unfair you know a level of unfairness here there's something going on behind the scenes you know that there is and maybe you need to stop giving it your energy let your friends have you lean on your friends at this time you need to stop you need to stop putting effort into something that isn't real it's not real so presently you're dealing with a deceptive situation that isn't real and you've been trying to escape the truth and maybe you need your friends to give you that kick in the pants I don't know it feels as though you've been harming yourself staying in a deceptive state of mind and maybe you need one of your friends or a couple of your friends or somebody to give you a kick in the ass I'm just saying what about the future? In the future, you need to take the steps to release your ex and find the confidence that has been lost in the self-esteem and the self-worth to allow yourself to love again. Somebody lacks self-confidence, they lack self-esteem, they lack self-respect. Maybe your ex didn't have respect for you, and now it's time for you to be practical and release, release your ex and start moving forward. You're only hurting yourself by giving your energy to this person that isn't stable that isn't moving forward, that doesn't respect you. It's time for you to shed the past. It is. It's time for you to release the past, forgive, and move on. This is a card of forgiveness. It's time for you to wake up. Wake up. Release your ex. It's safe for you to love and have a chance elsewhere. And this is elsewhere. It's not with your ex. 
It's time for you to wake up and accept the truth about this ex. And stop carrying this burden around. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. Your ex is heavy. And there's no progress with the ex. So it's time to be practical and give a chance elsewhere. So I feel like this is a week where somebody wakes up. They wake up after a period of keeping that mask on to protect themselves from getting hurt again. And maybe you need to let your friends help you get their opinion on this. There is some sort of manipulative, manipulative situation, whether you're manipulating yourself or you're being manipulated by another person. There's secrets, there's lies, there's confusion. You don't know, you don't know what this ex, because this is about an ex, it really is, is doing. They're secretive, they're doing things behind the scenes, and maybe you need to lean on your friends to stop thinking about it or stop putting effort into it. You're only harming yourself by holding on to this deceptive situation. So I feel as though in the future there is an opportunity for you to drop this burden, forgive, and move on. Open your heart to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. There's an opportunity for love as soon as you let this go. You need to stop observing. You need to stop looking at this X. Stop, stop, stop. Because all it does is weigh you down. I don't know who this message is for, but it's for somebody. It is safe for you to love again. But you must release this X fully. Stop looking at them. Stop trying to figure out what they're doing. That's baggage that you don't need. It's time to shed this past and offer a chance elsewhere. This is for somebody. Talk to you later.